Hey everyone, um, there's a little discussion on Facebook, a tiny one, about eating fish. And in this video I want to say why for the last 11 years I've been vegetarian and nearly all vegan with like, you know, many exceptions to be honest, but uh, yeah, I've been predominantly always vegan for nearly always for 11 years and I've been into and doing a lot of raw foods for 11 years too. And now I'm into fruitarianism, juicitarianism, and in the future, breatharianism. It's a lighter diet. But anyway, I'm gonna get to why I'm vegetarian and vegan and all this sort of stuff. It's because of the, the cruelty to animals. Um, in my life, I live by the motto of treat others like I'd like to be treated. So I don't like to step on ants. I don't like to hurt insects. I, I prefer not to kill plants if possible, um, as much as possible. And I definitely prefer not to hurt animals or humans. Absolutely, man. I really care and love humans deeply. They're my family. But animals are my family too. And even nature. So I don't like... The factory farming is gross. And even fishing is like... How would you like to have a... The fish have been shown to be communal, communal and family-orientated creatures. Um, so they hurt and they feel pain as vertebrates. They have pain receptors, as do animals. So anyone has a pet, you obviously wouldn't like your dog or cat to be killed or like tortured, and that's what factory farm does. And no one want to eat a dog, but we eat. We think it's okay to eat a pig. They're sad and they hurt and they feel pain and they get very sad when their children are taken away in the, in the dairy industry, which involves a lot of rape because that's where breast milk comes from, which I think is extremely gross. The idea of eating milk, breast milk, it's just ridiculous. So I think it's extremely gross and disgusting, to be honest. I think the whole slave industry is despicable and putrid. It's horrendous and it's shameful. It's, it's a terrible testament to the state of consciousness of the human planet. But I love humans and I'm not, I'm not angry or upset at the people. It's just because they don't know. Like, like Jesus said, forgive them for they know not what they do. And about Jesus eating fish, I'm sure he did in his lifetime, probably, but he, he was mostly raw foodist, as these scenes are. And that was taken from the Bible, the Essene Gospel of Peace. It was stored in the Vatican and was smuggled out. So the, 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 the religion, the Vatican and the Christian religion have like taken away empowering information about fasting and diet, about raw foodism and, and then water fasting and dry fasting. Um, sadly, to disempower people. Um, so yeah. The dairy industry is disgusting, taking away the babies and then impregnating and it looks like really gross, I don't even want to get into it. And I'm not here to judge anyone, like you do what you want to do. I'm not here to change your mind or to fight with you or argue with you. And I can't, anyway, I can't change you and you can't change me. So um, I'm a very peaceful person. I don't fight or argue with almost anyone ever anymore, ever in real life or even on the internet. Um, countless empaths who are energy sensitive all say same, same things more or less, very positive things about me. Um, the latest one two days ago said they felt I was very happy the first time they met me, very happy, or in the past, very happy. And sincere and genuine, they're the three words that she said. What you, and she said, what you see is who you are, like what you get is what you see. And I'm not putting up facades or fronts or fakes. This is just the way I am, as the way I am in my videos. Um, so it's just basically cultural programming and conditioning and brainwashing everyone, just to like put it straight. That's why we seem to think it's okay to like hurt, hunt or murder certain animals and eat them, but it's weird to eat a dog, like because the Chinese eat dogs. If we saw dogs in compounds, like the way we keep pigs, horses, chickens, if we had like big compounds of dogs being mutilated and skinned alive and butchered and all this sort of ridiculous putrativity, we think it's gross, but we're doing the same with all the animals that we do, you know? So it's just all the same stuff. Why hurt another sentient creature so much? They have like self-awareness and they're highly intelligent. Sorry everyone's too nice here. I'll talk to you in another video and lots of love and uh, don't get down about this. Don't get don't get like you know, don't dwell on this. Just make a decision. 
do your best, little improvements or, or fast and gradual change, whatever you want. Usually slow is good for most people, but some people can do it quick or whatever. And uh, yeah, just, just go gentle and loving on yourself and compassionate on yourself and other people. You can't force anyone. Just be the light and the change you want to be in the world and focus on your own personal healing. And for anyone who wants personal healing with me, this is my passion and purpose in the world. It's like raising the vibration of ourselves and the human consciousness, helping people heal from all of the, the pain and trauma that they've gone through in the past. And they're also their sense of self, um, confidence, um, relationships, communication and personal expression, boundaries, self-love, self-care, diet, health, detoxing, and again, basically healing from the past and going forward into extremely bright, positive future, full of boundless, positive, creative possibilities for yourself and others. So it's all about you ex then extending and shining out into the world. Um, hit me down below, join me on Facebook, um, Tune in for more videos, uh, hit the like button if you've liked my videos. And finally, yeah, my website below for personal consultations, I just send me a personal message. Okay, have a lovely day. Thanks for watching and lots of love. Take care. Bye now.